Hello, today I am going to discuss about the derivation of mass flow rate based on differential pressure transmitter. In my previous video, I discussed about derivation of volumetric flow rate based on differential pressure transmitter. However, there is a difference between mass flow rate and the volumetric flow rate. My previous video, I discussed about the volumetric flow rate. But in today's video, I will be discussing about mass flow rate. The difference between these two is mass flow rate takes into account of mass density. This one, P, mass density. So when you calculate the mass flow rate, you have to take into account of the value of mass density, which is a function of mass divided by volume. Okay, so this print screen show the formula for mass flow rate, which is equal to NC time E time Y1 time D square time square root of differential pressure multiplied by mass density. Okay, where the N is a unit conversion factor, CD here is a discharge coefficient, E here is velocity or approach factor, Y1 is gas expansion factor, this D square is ball of differential producer and the P is the density which is the mass density. Of course DP is the differential pressure okay which is the difference between the upstream pressure and downstream pressure okay this print screen show you the installation of the differential pressure to measure the differential pressure in order to derive the flow rate reading okay so this is a differential pressure it measure the difference pressure between the pressure at the high port and the low side port okay the the pressure at the high side port is the upstream pressure or the static pressure and the pressure at the low side port is a downstream pressure okay this is a pressure transmitter it measure the upstream pressure or what we call static pressure if you do not have the pressure transmitter to measure the static pressure it is okay you can use the pressure at the high side port or the upstream pressure from the differential pressure as the static pressure this is the upstream temperature where it measure the temperature of the fluid or the air at the upstream okay this arrow shows the direction of the flow of the air okay you can see the air is flow from the upstream to downstream via the orifice this is an orifice orifice the orifice is basically a small diameter of fixed hole okay it is used to create the differential pressure when the air is flown through it okay so all these parameter temperature static pressure differential pressure will be fit into the multi variable differential pressure transmitter and it will do a necessary conversion and calculation and then produce a mass flow rate okay this mass flow rate okay so how we derive this mass flow rate from the differential pressure so let me maybe uh, demo for you okay so as we know mass flow rate proportional to square root of differential pressure multiplied by static pressure right okay so you can see from here okay all this one okay uh maybe i can show you
Okay, as we know, uh, mass flow rate is N C E Y D square multiplied as square root differential pressure multiply P or mass density and this is a CD this is a Y1 all this one can be grouped as constant okay maybe I use the simple K1 to represent constant one all right so the equation can be further rewritten as k1 constant multiplied by square root differential pressure all right as we know this mass density formula is mass divided by volume right so this is multiplied by mass per volume okay and we know that this volume is equal to temperature divided by pressure right so this formula can be written as k1 multiplied square root differential pressure okay mass multiplied by temperature per pressure okay and then it can be rewritten as this mass can be removed can be transferred to here so it becomes square root m time differential pressure multiplied this sorry it should be written as P over T so it become P over T right then we can treat this one as another concern maybe I put this I treat this as a K2 which is a constant 2 alright so QM is equal to K2 multiplied by square root of differential pressure all right pressure divided by temperature so this qm is equal to k2 constant divide uh, multiply by square root of dp or differential pressure p over temperature pressure over temperature this p is actually a ps or static pressure Sometimes we use P1 to represent upstream pressure or static pressure. Okay, so when we do calibration for this multi variable differential pressure transmitter, we had to do each parameter individually. Okay, we had to do like calibrate this differential pressure first. After done, then we calibrate the upstream pressure, which is a static pressure. Once done, then we calibrate the temperature. Once we completed all the calibration, then we will perform verification of the mass flow rate. Okay, when we perform the, before we perform the verification for this mass flow rate, remember we can manually set the temperature to a fixed temperature reading. Maybe you can set process temperature or you can set any temperature reading that you deem fit okay for it so because of this you can remove temperature from here to here so it become k2 time square root of 1 t time dp differential pressure multiplied static pressure and then we can treat this as another constant maybe constant k3 constant 3 so the equation will become qm which is a mass flow rate is k3 constant multiplied by square root of differential pressure static pressure so mass flow rate is proportional to square root of differential pressure time p 
PS static pressure okay so this formula you have to memorize so this is how we derive the mass flow rate from differential pressure as we know uh, differential pressure is the pressure difference between the P1 minus P2 P1 is a pressure at the upstream or the high side port the P2 is a downstream pressure or the pressure at the low side port okay you can write it as PS minus P2 okay so you so I will give you example how we derive or get the mass flow rate given a value of differential pressure or the static pressure value okay let's say I want to de derive the mass flow rate at 50 percent given the differential pressure value or the PS value okay maybe I block a table I make a table is easier to understand okay so sorry my drawing is very very bad really bad all right so this is a percentage or interval okay this one is my differential pressure this one is my ps or static pressure this one will be my p2 downstream pressure and this one will be my p s time differential pressure okay and then this one will be okay this dp is here this ps is here okay and then you know differential pressure is p1 minus p2 or ps minus p2 okay which is this one ps minus p2 correct ps minus p2 okay so and we had to multiply the static pressure to different with differential pressure so static pressure multiply differential pressure and then finally you have to apply the square root to this differential pressure multiply static pressure so square root of static pressure multiply differential pressure finally you will get the corresponding mass flow rate all right okay so in order to before you want to find the corresponding mass flow rate you have to know the range meaning you have to know the minimum and maximum range of the mass flow rate okay and the differential pressure as well as static pressure so let's say the interval percentage is 0% and 100% all right i want to find the qm or mass flow rate at 50% given the value of ps and differential pressure okay as i said before you do any calculation okay you need to know the range meaning you need to know the minimum and maximum range for this differential pressure okay maybe i use different color you would for this differential pressure static pressure as well as mass flow rate okay let's say the differential pressure is let's say is zero bar okay and then the maximum differential pressure is 0.25 bar as for static pressure range the minimum static pressure let's say is a zero bar and the maximum static pressure or the upstream pressure is eight bar right so how to find the downstream pressure how we find the downstream pressure simple as we know right differential pressure is the static pressure or upstream pressure minus the downstream pressure so this downstream pressure or p2 is static pressure minus differential pressure so meaning this static pressure minus this differential pressure you will get the downstream pressure or the pressure at the low side port so this is zero and then this 8 bar minus 0 0.25 bar you will get about 7.7 7 
phi bar. Okay, as for this value, PS time differential pressure, this one, static pressure time differential pressure, static pressure time differential pressure, how you do, it's very simple. This static pressure is this one. Multiply differential pressure this one. So zero times zero, you get zero, which is a minimum range of this value this parameter and then for this PS or static pressure multiply this differential pressure you will get about 2.00 bar okay then you have to apply the square root to differential pressure multiply PS okay differential pressure multiply PS is you apply the square root you will get 0 and this when you apply the square root you will get about 1 0.414 okay okay let, as i said earlier you need to have the range minimum maximum range in order to find the corresponding mass flow rate let's say the minimum range for qm is zero kilogram per hour okay this one is maybe a uh, nine four four five kilogram per hour so how do we find this one in order to find the value, the corresponding value for this parameter, we can use a proportional method. Okay, this 100% minus this 0% proportional to this 0.25 bar minus this 0 bar. So the 50% minus this 0%, you will get this value uh, proportional to this dp1 minus this 0 bar. Okay, let's do it. So this 100% minus 0%, okay, 100% minus 0% is proportional to this 0 0.25 bar minus this 0 bar. Okay, 0 0.25 bar minus 0 bar. And then this 50% minus this 0%, 50% minus 0% proportional to this dp1. Okay, maybe I can put dp1, which is differential pressure 1, represent the differential pressure at 50 percent okay minus zero okay meaning this divided by this multiplied by this will be equal to dp1 minus zero okay that is to say 50 percent minus zero percent divided by 100 percent minus zero percent multiplied by this 0 0.25 bar minus zero bar made square bracket is equal to this dp1 minus zero dp1 minus zero bar so you need to find this dp1 right so the dp1 equal to this minus zero bar is dp1 right so this one is 50 divided by 100 percent multiply 0.25 bar okay then you will get hold on let me calculate you will get about 0.125 0 0.125 bar so this value is 0 0.125 bar all right so using the similar similar method you can find the corresponding value for the static pressure downstream pressure and the value for static pressure multiplied differential pressure as well as this square root of 
static pressure time differential pressure and then finally find the value of the corresponding mass flow rate at 50 percent okay so after you do the same calculation that i show you just now you can easily find the corresponding value for all these parameter all these parameter at 50 percent interval so you i will get about uh, 4 bar and then 3.875 bar and then this one is will be 0 0.50 bar and then this will be 0 0.707 bar and then the flow rate will be 4722.5 kilogram per hour okay so I have an Excel file which was created by me. Okay, if you are interested in this Excel file, please leave a comment and I will send this Excel file to you. What you need to do is you just need to key in all the necessary value into the yellow boxes. Okay, these yellow boxes. And then it will automatically calculate all the corresponding relevant parameter for you, such as the differential pressure, the P1 or the upstream pressure, P2 downstream pressure, and then the mass flow rate. Okay, just leave a comment and I will send you all this far. Okay, for my previous example, as I say, for the differential pressure range, the minimum I put is a zero bar. Maximum is a 0 0.25 bar. Of course, you can change to different value. Maybe I put 0 0.5 bar. All the corresponding value will change. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.